I go to London or through London, there is there, there's always drama. My Tom Ford perfume was thrown away. I have been super, super cautious and selective about what fragrances I take with me. That is until I discovered Bienvenue to a, I guess, a spend the day shopping avec moi. <laughs> C'est moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile. And here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See vous play. Take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog. And um, TikTok is coming along. I, I've, been, I've been doing it over there on TikTok. <laughs> so today we are... Pizza fur. <laughs> I didn't even have on my collar today. <laughs> so today is Tuesday and I have recently, no, it hasn't posted yet. My weekly vlog posts on Tuesday at about 1030 or so, but I want to start doing two vlogs a week or like a vlog and then a shopping. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, but today I want to do some shopping. I want to do some shopping. However, I want it to be on a budget. So speaking of budget, I want to share one of my um, like trade secrets avec vous. Everything starts with a story here. Everything has a story here. So we'll go into story time first. On a flight leaving London, London Heathrow, oh mon dieu, unless they want to sponsor a video. Love ya. <laughs> But every time I go to London or through London, there is, there, there's always drama. One of the most traumatizing events I experienced there, my Tom Ford perfume was thrown away. They said that I was over the, the maximum. I mean, it's ridiculous. After that happened, I have been very, very afraid and really conscious of what fragrances I take at that moi. If you do not know, Tom Ford fragrances start at about 150 US dollars and they go up much further than there. I have MFK fragrances that cost well in the 300s and I'm really just terrified to travel with those. And then just thinking about things, if my luggage are, um, is lost, if I, I don't know, just freak accidents. So with that, I have been super, super cautious and selective about what fragrances I take with me. That is until... I discovered, drum roll please, dossier. <laughs> you know, you know what you say with a French accent, it becomes fancy, <laughs> dossier. I'm telling you all my secrets now. I have been using my dossier designer inspired perfume when I travel so that I really just don't have to worry. If you are not familiar with that dossier, it is a designer inspired perfume line. And what I love most is that it's safe. If you have ever found your way on the darker side of um, really TikTok, I've seen that so much there. There are so many counterfeit perfumes out here for famous fragrances or popular, I should say, like the MFKs, the Tom Ford, and they come in the exact same packaging. And just all of those really, really scary things. While, you know, I will never tell you all how to spend your money. I would just tell you really be careful with those um, counterfeit because that's what it is. Those counterfeit fragrances that comes in the same packaging, same label, all of those things because you do not know what's being put inside those bottles. So just a warning, a caution, just be safe in these scented streets. <laughs> So to not have an allergic reaction to anything, I found a very, very reputable line that mirrored some of my absolute favorite scents. So I have to date, I want to say four fragrances, but I just got two more and I replaced <laughs> my Tom Ford, the Black Orchid, and I also did the Bon de Freak. I did not know if I wanted to make the investment. I knew what the Tom Ford, I, I knew what that was hitting on. <laughs> But I did not know if I wanted to, if I was just doing Barreto because that's just like the scent du jour. Like every page you look at, like that's one of the scents. And it's really good, I will say. But I didn't know if I wanted to invest, so to speak. So I picked up these two. I am wearing, ah, uh, I am wearing my Tom Ford Black Orchid, the, the inspired fragrance. And it smells so good. 
so good. And I have worn this before. And those who know, know, I always get compliments and I feel bad. So, okay, I guess I shouldn't feel bad because I don't say that it's Tom Ford. Everyone just assumes it's Tom Ford. So is that cheating? Let, let me know if that's cheating or not. I didn't say it. I did not say I was wearing Black Orchid, Tom Ford. People assume, who am I? Who, who am I to take away assumptions here? You know, that's not what I do. <laughs> so I applied a bit early this morning, um, maybe about 45 minutes ago, and I have a lot of errands to do. And I am going to do a scent check because I am only wearing dossier. <laughs> Um, Tom Ford Black Orchid. I did not layer it with any other fragrances and that's something else that I do. I love layering. I will use a scented lotion and then a fragrance and perhaps an oil. But today I only want to wear this because I really want to see how long it will last. Having had, my eyes start twitching. I got upset. <laughs> Having had the actual Tom Ford Black Orchid. I know how long that lasts throughout the day and that's a whole other vlog. I am going to do a scent check, so to speak, to test it out and see what's happening. So I am going to flip the camera and show you all what I have and just show you the really nice packaging. That's what sold me. You all know that I am so into, or you may not know, but I am so into packaging and I love how sleek, actually, let me just flip the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> The lack of pricey packaging, celebrity endorsement fees, and infamous brand tax allows Dussier to produce affordable perfume. We Mezami all scents are $39, and you also get a 25% discount and free shipping if you buy three bottles or more. What I also love is the risk-free system, which allows you the option to try the perfume before committing. If before 30 days you decide the scent isn't for you, you can return any unsealed 50 ml Dossier perfume for a full refund. No questions asked. If you decide to try a scent or reorder one, Cebu Play, use my my link below and you will get 5% off of your purchase. Ciao for now. So bad, but they run, they're so narrow. Yeah. Hi, how are you? we go. Now we are talking my language. You all know I'm a creature of habit. I can finally talk. <laughs> With all of the music playing inside, I, I do not want that copyright smoke. It was such a blessing to meet Cindy. That's who I was sitting down having a coffee with. When I go to Nordy's, I typically get my drink and go. At Nordy's, sitting there, I was getting ready to post some photos that the husband took of me this morning on Insta in my mind has just been racing like this morning. I have been going nonstop. Still can smell the fragrance. It is, I think, almost 3 p.m. now. I applied the perfume, I want to say, at 
8 a.m., 8.30. So with all of that, sitting there, getting ready to post, just my thoughts going, because that's typically the time I would sit and talk to my mayor while I'm at a cafe, while I'm editing, and just not having her to call. So <laughs> I hear someone say, bonjour. I wanted to cry. Like my eyes just started watering up. I'm like, you are heaven sent. And not only did she speak, which I, I tell my to me all the time, see who play. If you ever see me, please just say bonjour. But not only did she say bonjour, she sat down and we chatted in like very personal, connecting kind of chat. And it was so needed. Like she was truly heaven sent. Cindy, merci beaucoup. And I will put her Insta handle here. Uh, merci. <laughs> so I'm going to head to another shop, a thrift shop this time. I did not do too bad at Zara. I will show you all the pieces that I got. The dressing room was closed. Not that I wanted to try it on, but I was going to do it for you all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll see you all at the thrift shop. Alrighty, ciao for now. You know it's going to be good when the clothes are outside greeting you and this is my bag I love it this thrift bag stays full I said I wasn't buying any jackets but we shall see all right let's go inside We are home. I am going to do a quick Zara try on. Try on. <laughs> it is not my favorite thing to do, but I, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but the dressing rooms were closed. I don't know if that's a thing with all Zara now. I typically shop online, but yeah, so and I really didn't. I wasn't in the mind space to do all of that. I'm going to try these pieces on because if they do not fit, I'd like to just return them and have that settled tomorrow, which is Wednesday before the weekend. So let's do a quick, you know, I haven't done a try on video in so long because I feel like you all only see me from the waist up. So perhaps I'll just move my mirror over and you all can see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But let me change into my first piece. Oh, that cool. I am so out of breath. And this lighting is so crazy. <laughs> so this is the first piece. I'm going to have to figure out a way to give you all more um, details. But I I was a bit... Oh, I am just a wreck. My battery died. It is... Really? Passcode? What time is it? <laughs> it is 6.13. I can still smell my inspired... <laughs> Tom Ford and wow that's crazy okay so I want to show you all these looks really quick because I need to go for my walk every day I go for a very long walk okay so get to this look I'm gonna to have to do a more detailed shot I don't know how much you all can see 
This I was a bit concerned about because it's a small or an extra small, and please forgive me, like I'm just gonna keep on the same under clothes because I'm not, you know it's a big deal, me even trying on clothes. <laughs> but I really, really love this. It's kind of giving like sweatsuit, tracksuit, that's the fabric. It is, but I love how elevated it looks. And that's one of my tips. When you are shopping fast fashion, get pieces that aren't as tight because that's a dead giveaway with quality. Really ill-fitted pieces, It most of the time it looks cheap. So that's why um, you all know that I am just all about oversized. So this is how it looked on um, the hanger. So yeah, I'm actually really shocked that it still, feel, um, it still fits this well, considering that it is a small. They only had an extra large. As much as J'adore oversize, I knew that would have just been too big. So I'm glad I um, trusted my instinct and got this. I'm still uncertain. Oh, the, oh, it has pockets. And look how long it is. Tell me this isn't elegant. Please don't tell me if it's not elegant. Like, just don't comment on it. <laughs> but I love, and look at this detail. It's these. Detail, it's a pocket here. Like, this looks expensive. If I saw someone wearing this, I would want to know, one, where they got it from. And getting things in neutral colors, always that that just always oozes elegance um, with fast fashion because um, the fabrics die cost. So, and this is me getting into my textile. I used to be a textile designer for a fast fashion company. When you are using dye, if it's a fast fashion brand, a lot of times they don't have quality dye. So it's nice to just get whites and creams and tans. So, okay, I am filling this. Now, more than likely, I will wear this with another belt, but I may wear it just as it is. I was nervous when I put this on because there aren't any zippers or closures. So I was really scared <laughs> when I tried this on, but, oh, this is a keeper. Okay, let me get the next look going. Okay, this has to go back. This, oh my goodness. I can't even breathe. Like it's so tight up here. I'm surprised I did not bust all the seams. I want this, but there's absolutely no stretch. Like, can you see what it's doing to my poor bosoms? Okay, yeah, this has to go back. Oh, yikes. I am stuck in this dress. Like I cannot get this dress off. It's too tight to go down my bum oh my goodness this is crazy I may have to cut myself out of this dress oh goodness oh I am out of breath trying to get that dress off this lighting I look so washed out I have a lamp like over this mirror because I want it to get the best <sighs> This is my comfort zone. <laughs> I'm telling you all in Mezzami, every time I get these dresses, sometimes you all, you all don't see the vision with the oversized, but then when I wear it, it's like, OMG. And by that time it's sold out. This dress, even the quality, that's one thing I will say for fast fashion, I, I don't shop many places, but as far as I'm um, most popular, the most popular fast fashions, Zara has like really good quality. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an, I'm an ambassador. Like they really do have good quality. Like I was wearing Zara before they were actually in the US. I remember when they were only in Europe. So when I lived in Milan, if we would go over to Spain, those were like the only Zara, so just a fun fact. But I am obsessed with this dress. I really wish they had another color because you all know that I am just obsessive and a creature of habit. So I would have this in every color and these would be my dresses of the summer because the one that I had on today and the black one that's in the back, those were my summer Zara dresses of 2022. This is looking like this is gonna be the dress. <laughs> 2023 so if there are more colors trust me I'm going to get it I am really like 
in awe at how difficult it was getting out that black dress. Okay, let me flip the camera so I can um, finish chatting with you all, then head out for my walk. Yeah, this is good. This is definitely staying. And I'll, I'll let you know what size, and I'll tell you all what size I'm wearing um, once I flip the camera. Woo! Ooh, d'accord. Let's get to the sizing. I will also link all of these pieces that I have below and I will also link like a Zara wish list. There were other pieces that I saw that I was very interested in but they did not have it in my size so more than likely I'll just order it online. A huge merci beaucoup in advance for using my links. I have shared this before during my 25 days of vlogging that these kind of things help me out so much as a content creator. When you all watch my ads, when you like, when you use my affiliate links, they help me out so much. It does not cost you a thing by using affiliate links the company that you're shopping from then pays me a very small percentage but it adds up so I appreciate you all so much for the love and support it means so much to me because again cappuccinos and consignment for the most part is pretty self-sustaining if you are new here take time to look back at a lot of my vlogs I don't do a lot of brand deals I don't do a lot of those things and they are for very specific reasons um, some of which I shared during those 25 days of vlogging so again merci beaucoup for your support when you all do use any of my links I have mes amis who go as far as emailing me or DMing me if they want a certain item even if I hadn't shown it so that I could send them an affiliate link and I, I am forever thankful for you all it means the absolute world to me so let's get into these sizings <laughs> I'm really disappointed with this black dress like I had plans you all know how much j'adore black even in the spring and summer I still wear a lot of black and this dress while sleeveless which uh, did you see I had two sleeveless pieces you all see there's something happening here because I haven't shown that much skin since I was born like I just don't show a lot of skin but I was really looking forward to this because I could do so much with this even in the summer there's so much I could do with this this was a size I just <sighs> Zara, je suis désolé. I know I am an ambassador, but you all need to recall this dress. This dress needs to be recalled. I said my prayers taking this dress off. I didn't know if I was going to make it. I truly, I did not know if I was going to make it. And that's crazy. This is a, oh, yikes. It's an extra small. I mean, it wasn't that tight. I mean, you know, if I had put on like an unlined brassiere, perhaps. I did have cow's milk in my latte. Perhaps that. Let's get to the next piece. This beauty is a small. And I here I am. I was nervous about this one, but did not think twice about the black dress. This is a size small and I am very pleased with this. So I'd say it's um, true to size. I typically wear, I wear a small, but I always buy medium and large because I just love my pieces oversized. So for this to fit me the way I like, I'd say it's a little bigger. If you want your items more fitted, more form fitted than size down. But I love this. I might wear this tomorrow here. Where's the tag? Is there a tag? Did I take the tag off? I have no clue where the tag... I mean, there's one inside, but the price tag on this... How much did I pay? I need to check my receipt. It is a medium. And I love this fit. I would not... Maybe a large. And if they have it in a different color in a black, I would do a large. But for this, like mustard, canary, marigold color, I would... um, I, I like this size. I like the medium. So overall, I am so satisfied with the pieces that I got. I also went thrifting and I got one skirt, the metallic faux leather one that I tried on. I got that one in a J. Crew dress. I don't think that one's going to fit the way I want it to. So more than likely, I will list that on Posh. And if you are interested in seeing how I post for Posh, the vlog that I posted today, Tuesday, not your today your past, my present. 
my last vlog, I showed that. So again, merci beaucoup, mes amis. I appreciate you all so much. If you are interested in purchasing Dossier, please use my link below. And I also have a coupon code. And for Zada, use my link and check out my wish list. So until the next vlog, alrighty, ciao for now.